You won. Uh, Ares' passive is that any items on him that have an aura increases magical attack. This is going to be a very interesting match. And are you synced up on me yet? Alright, seeing how Rolo T is starting out. Oh, Tebble's starting out as traditional as usual. He starts out with the Death's Toll, which, you know, not entirely a terrible item to be picking up in a 1v1 situation. Rolo T has picked up one level of Iron Mail and one level of Shoes. I really have no idea what he's planning right now. I can't think of a damn thing either. I don't know if... He could be relying on Artemis's, uh two being her best ability, maybe build Hide of the Nemean Lion to use that reflection, but... It wouldn't be a bad start. Maybe, that is just a huge guess. So at this point, is Roll T going to play this as kind of an out-tank situation? Is he just going to try to make sure that Artemis can't do much damage and outlast her at this point? Temple already going With back after setting three traps mid lane. Minions have spawned. Then again, he could also be going into something like Mystical Mail, just, just doing the damage standing around. All very possible options. I believe that also count as an aura item for him. It will. Picking up the mana buff. I don't know where he's going with this. Possibly for the cooldowns. Again, Tebble, as he's mentioned, plays Artemis like a turret. Always using that three, always chunking the damage from a distance. Roll T already taken heavy damage and absolutely nothing done to Tebble. Point Chris's best ability is probably just being able to minion farm. Okay, <laughs> Tebble anticipating the chains, ducking out of the way, and then managing to throw that three with like expert precision. He always seems to always know where it's gonna land. Again, almost no damage done to Tebble. He's already healed up the damage he'd taken. Chris rolling back and Tebble going after the tower to start. Roll T having to go back. He has probably 15% of his health left. One more three and a couple basics and he would have been down. Over, right things. now the levels are even. That does give him the ult. Yep, both are level 5, the levels are even, and it's good that he backed, because if he gave Artemis that level advantage by killing him... And exactly as you'd predicted, Artemis uses her ult to get out of that pull. And that's how it's gonna be the whole way. The only thing that Chris could have an advantage is if he can manage to pull up the boar quicker than Tebble can. Or, you know, pull up his chains quicker than Tebble can pull up the boar. But then all Tebble needs to do in a secondary protection against the chains is pick up a thing of beads. I have to say, I think uh, Rolo T is at a definite disadvantage right now. I don't, I don't see this being a good matchup for Ares at all. Ares in 1v1 in general. There are probably people who can pull it off, but I don't think knowing Tebble's capabilities, with Artemis especially, that Chris really has any kind of plan for Ares to take him down. I, I'm honestly shocked that he didn't go with um, Hunbot. If there's one Going character... into that steel mail? He picked steel up... Steel mail, I believe, builds into uh, Breastplate of Valor, I believe? 
Interesting choice, and again, I believe he'd be building heavy cooldown, but he's gonna need something to keep Tebel on his toes. Now, it looks like Chris has the advantage to take a push. He's gonna eat a couple of those traps, which, not entirely a bad idea when you've got the chance. Chris heading back again. Your middle tower is under attack. He picked up Rage of the Gods, which I'm going to assume is gonna turn into Fist. Oh, almost certainly. Tebel already back in lane. Chris only taking down one trap. Actually, I have a theory about what he might be doing with this possible Fist of the Gods trick. What would that be? He may use this to get the original stun off and tricking Tebel into using an altar beads to get out of the stuns. And then burning that ult. I don't know. Mm, no. Chris gets killed already. Really don't know where he's going with this. I don't know if it's going to turn out for him either because I believe Tebel's already got this tower down. Oh yeah, tower's going down. There is no contesting that. Oh. That thing's got to be, you know, breathe on it and it's dead. Oh yeah, it's got like one or two hits left to it. Chris picked up Mystical Mail for the damage near the enemies. Under Your team has destroyed a middle enemy tower. Oh, misses with the two chains, but is now just going for a straight up burn. Tebel very smartly dancing around his traps, knowing that if Rolla steps in them, he has no maneuverability anymore. Can just be burnt down. Chris making an odd push despite the level difference and his low health. What is he planning? Because I don't believe it's going to turn out well for him if he's just going to stick in the lane. Now he's finally heading back. But it might be too late if Tebel rushes forward. Now, Phoenix is going to be a little bit harder to burn down than the towers. So I think that Chris is at least safe to kind of sit back, play turtle at this point. Your middle Phoenix is under yeah, attack. he's definitely going to have to play the minion farm route, because Tebel's just going to out-damage him every step of the way. Chris also using his uh, Rage of the Gods to take down minion waves quicker, which isn't a bad idea, as Ares minion clear is next to nothing. Now, if Chris can plan this right, he may have an advantage if he can hit both of those chains and just burn Tebel down. As one thing I know Tebel does not build is defense. He relies strictly on being able to kill his opponent very quickly. Oh, very nice. Only get two chains on that pull, however. Pulling up the defense to flee. Oh, missing with his three, and Chris missing with his chain. No, say, not having the most useful build at this point, but he's built to a point where he's actually... Oh, no, I just realized Tebel already has full stacks of Devourer's Gauntlet. Still no shoes, however. I'm surprised that Chris is trying at this point. This is a little... Oh, again, a dangerous game to be playing. Looks like he's gonna have to leave the Phoenix. Your middle Phoenix is under attack. Yeah, with a two level disadvantage like that, it's it's gonna be hard for him to try and earn back those levels creep farming when Artemis is uh just standing there doing so much damage with every hit. At this point, Tebel's probably just gonna be farming his stacks. He's gonna stay in lane and not take any unnecessary risks either. Chris did choose Fist of the Gods, as expected. Rolo going for the attack buff? Oh, now he turns around. He's gonna stick with minion farming. 
They looking to make any kind of push on this tower? I think at this point it's just minion farming. A three is going to be, yeah, almost as predicted as soon as Tevil gets in. Oh, hitting with two chains, but not enough. Now, Chris is, yeah, he went down almost instantly. And at this point, Temple's just going to keep building stacks. He's already got an Executioner. Four items to Chris's two and a third. Your middle Phoenix is yeah, this is going about as you'd expected it to. It's not just, uh, it seems Chris does have a solid plan. I think he knows what he wants to do. It's just getting that down. And Tevil, being the skilled player that he is, just is not letting him. Yeah, and if he keeps missing with the chains, then he's got no chance of doing enough damage to Tevil to burn him down. But we'll say his his three is hurting quite a bit to Tevil. Again, as I mentioned, Tevil does not buy defensive items. It's just making sure that he can actually outlast the damage Tevil is capable of and burn him down. Doing some decent damage, and he's just going to have to keep sidestepping the shots and hoping he doesn't get a three hit on him. Oh, missing with a second chain, and he's done again. It's it's sad, because we can see Chris is... Nah, and Chris is done. Instant surrender at the ten minute mark. <sighs> and really, there was, a, there was a two level difference, probably close to three. There wasn't much that could have happened there. Uh, you know, I, I can see Chris probably had some sort of plan, but it was really just, if you start getting two, three deaths down, and Ares is going to need a lot more, he's going to need at least one kill to keep up. And he just could not pull that dog.